What's going on guys, Chad here with Greenlight Shooting. Welcome back to another video, man. Today we're talking compensators. Now, uh, if you're not familiar with compensators, we'll talk about all that in just a minute. But before we do, let's just start off by showing off the Glock. So this is a Glock 17 Gen 5. This thing's straight out of the box. This thing is as bone stock as it gets. Nothing added or anything like that. Don't get me wrong, it shoots great. But uh, you know, there's always things that I want to add to these things to kind of customize them, to make my own, just to make the shooting them more fun. And one of the things I always love is a compensator. Um, and what a compensator is, is basically it's a little piece that fits on the end of your gun and it does a couple things. Number one, it adds some extra weight. Uh, it also disperses gas in a manner that, uh, that causes recoil to be significantly less felt right so it's got ports that are shooting like when this when this gun shoots right there's there's a bunch of gas from the uh from the gunpowder burning so as that bullet leaves uh, all that gas is dispersed and it ends up creating a lot of this backwards recoil well a compensator will fit on the end here and then it'll disperse that gas maybe side to side and up what that up does right is it pushes upward force which keeps the the muzzle flat and then those side to side ports push out side to side, keeping the muzzle straight forward. Uh, so that's the idea of a compensator. Now, the issue with a compensator has always been that A, you need a threaded barrel. Like, you, uh, I can't throw one on this because there's nowhere to thread a compensator on. Number two is even with a threaded barrel, it's generally a permanent thing, meaning you're adding Loctite to it, you're adding a set screw. It's not permanent permanent, but I mean, it's, it's permanent in the sense that you're not taking it off every time you wanna take it off and whatever. So once it's on there, it's pretty much on there. And because of those things, it's generally a pretty big commitment, but it's also a big barrier to entry because you have to have that threaded barrel. So that is where Fury Defense comes in. This is the Fury Defense Glock Compensator, and uh, it is a rail-mounted design. So what is so dope about this is there's no threads. You don't have to have a threaded barrel. So as you can see, this thing just has a little Picatinny rail mount and it just slides on just like that. Once it is slid on, you then have four little hex screws that you need to uh, attach. So step one is you lock these two screws into place. Then you've got two more screws on the bottom here and boom, those two are locked in. And now you have a very, very solid compensator. Uh, not only that, but you don't give up your pick rail. So you can still throw on a light or whatever you need on the bottom here. And uh, check that thing out, man. So then as you can imagine, the recoil is going to be significantly less noticeable uh, based really on two reasons. Number one, this is just a big chunk of aluminum on the end of your gun. Like it's gonna weigh the end of your gun down a little bit. So already it's having a compensating effect, but mostly it's due to this gas dispersion that I was talking about. So uh, there are a bunch of ports up here that's redirecting all that gas and keeping the muzzle flipped down. So now rather than all that gas just shooting out and, the, and then the muzzle coming up like that. But a lot of that gas is gonna push back here, boom, and it's gonna keep you on target. You'll be able to find your sights faster, get quicker follow-up shots, and overall, just have more fun shooting, man. That's the point of this thing to me. The fact that I can shoot faster, more accurate, get back on my sight picture faster. It's just, a, it's just an overall really cool accessory. And the best part of it is, it's not permanent. So obviously one of the issues here is like, it's gonna be pretty difficult to find a holster or at least a molded holster that's gonna be able to take this gun like this. So that's not an issue. I can train like this, I can have fun, and then I can just take those four screws out, slide this thing off, and I'm back to my normal Glock 17. So it's not something I'm necessarily dedicating the life of this Glock to. So uh, anyways, that is the Fury Defense Glock Compensator, something I thought was really cool. I just wanted to feature because it's pushing the envelope forward. You guys know I love featuring brands that do that here. And uh, overall, it's just a really cool product, man. So you can pick up one of these compensators for either a Glock 17 Gen 5 or a Glock 19 Gen 5. Currently, they're only offering Glock lineups, but hey man, if there's some demand, they may want to branch out a little bit. Let them know what you need. These things are coming in at $210. 
but you know I got you, man. So use code GLS10 for 10% off. So if you're like me and always want to push your firearm, customize your firearm, but you don't have a threaded barrel or you don't want to like dedicate to a compensator, I think this is a perfect option for you. So go pick one up, tell them green light shooting sent you, use that coupon code, and uh, that's all I've got for you guys today. So if you enjoyed it, hit that thumbs up button for me. Subscribe if you were down for the ride, and I'll catch you next time on Green Light Shooting. Peace out.